Hey everyone, welcome back to Exploring the Virtual and this, I hope, is going to be the first of a regular feature where I play like 15, take maybe 15 minutes to half an hour playing games, indie games that I don't normally get time to play. Uh, so this new sort of segment is just going to be an occasional upload every now and then uh, showcasing uh, indie games where developers have kindly offered me the game for free to to show to you guys. Uh, as you are regulars to my channel, you'll know I, I, I will always be brutally honest. Even though the game has been given to me free, I'm not going to pretend I like a game or you know fake enthusiasm for a game simply because it's free. If I like the game, I like the game. If I hate the game, I hate the game, and that's that's the way it will be. So today I'm going to be showing you a game called uh, Frontier Pilot Simulator. Um, now this has been provided to me by the company Razor I believe they were called, the developers. Uh, it is an early access game. You can find it on Steam, it's a PC game. Yeah, the company is Razer SRO. Uh, it's a team of 13 people. All right, uh, they've given me some information about the game. So, Frontier Pilot Simulator is an environment-centered single-player vehicle sim, combining the skill-based flying system with a story-driven economic progression system, dozens of ship upgrades, and great flight physics. Your piloting expertise will be constantly challenged by the world while it unfolds before you. Uh, challenging and realistic flight physics. The Frontier Pilot Simulator offers you the experience, sorry, offers you to experience the futuristic and challenging way of cargo ships controlling. Physic of the game builds this way that you would fill every kilo of the cargo. All right, physics in the game uh, allows you to feel every... I, I get the feeling these might not be first... English might not be their first spoken language because it doesn't really make sense. Any change in wind direction and guise as volcano emissions in addition, we created a wind map mode that will help you to catch a tailwind and find the safest way to fly, fly through a storm. Also, every cargo ship has its own specific behaviour. Heavy, smooth, fast, sharp, small, maneuverable. Uh, the game consists of geysers, volcanoes, unusual animal, animals, rocking coastal landscapes, various weather conditions, stormy, windy, rainy and atmospheric sci-fi music gives you a sense of being a completely different world on other planets. Uh, it's, a, it's an open world game with exciting confrontations between aliens and humans, smugglers, and corporation terrorists and secret security forces. The story driven economy would allow you to build bases, discover new mines, even explode researching platforms. Alright, so there's like a brief rundown. Key features, unique and realistic physics of cargo transport, open world, unique ambience, workshop, that's the steam workshop, I guess, three types of cargo ships, dozens of, dozens of different ship upgrades, trading system, Storyline serving as a driving fact to discover the game. Amazing weather, volcanoes and geysers animated. Coming soon, uh, cockpit view, a new HUD, ships, traffic, fraction-based economy, locations and multiplayer. Okay. Alrighty then. So let us jump into the game. I'll be using a Xbox controller for this. Uh, I was hoping that maybe it would have uh, HOTUS support, but I haven't actually tr tried my HOTUS, so it would be great if it did. Uh, we'll start fresh. I mean, I have had a test play, and I must admit, I did quite enjoy the test play.
get this loading screen going. So with these indie games, I do want to try and, you know, first play them with you. So you get the new player experience along with me. Like I said though, with this one, because I was just, I wanted to test it. Uh, I have played a little bit. So I know the rudimentary basic controls. That's about it. Left shoulder plus back help. What is plus back? Plus back. Sorry, here we go. Straight off. We'll just escape out. No, it won't let us escape out of it. What? This didn't happen before. <laughs> uh, it's not going good, is it? Control. Well, this isn't this isn't going well, is it? I'm going to re resort to the mouse here. Turn on and off fixed thrust mode, left stick button, back. What is back? Open, close, map. Back. Is that... Oh, it's that button. Oh, I, I, you can tell I'm not an Xbox controller uh, user. I don't have an, own an Xbox. Alright, back is this button. Alright, there we go. So here we go, how to fly, start the engines, keeping right trigger button pressed, thrust, left stick button fixed thrust, alright, how to trade, alright, yeah, 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 alright, I, I don't want to waste time <laughs> reading all of that, so let's just try and read. So we've got the alpha version at the top left. Scarab, welcome aboard, Captain. All systems work in normal mode. MCC, beep, beep, incoming signal, flight control, center speaker. Welcome to Aslan, the most promising colony. We are pleased to announce that the first customer is awaiting your arrival at Spaceport. Transferred on board. So, I take it we have to go to that destination over there. So let's take off. Ignition engines. We'll try and go over here. Go. We're gonna. We're gonna. God, thanks, it's I'm gonna get drunk tonight. You got camera movement above right stick controls. Camera movement. It's, it's very tricky. And you do have a limited, like, fuel. If you can see in the top left, it says charge. So it's like, a, it's a physics based game basically, so it's, uh, you've got to try and land on 
the landing pad. I'm trying to orientate myself at the same time. go. Alright, and once you're on the ground, it also turns into like a ground base car, truck, whatever, where you can roll on the ground to get into the position. That's not too bad. Great, you're, here we go, great. There we go. All right. Open a trading terminal A and buy food. Rations will sell better than hotcakes in colonies. You make some money, and I will report the job is done. Win-win. You will make some money, and I will report the job done. Win-win. So A to open. So you got. Use your D-pad up, down, D, P, D, D, B, 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 B to select cargo, A to buy or sell, B to exit. Hold X to recharge. So we probably want to recharge because that's our fuel. And A to buy. That's it, we can't buy any more. Alright, so then assuming it's B to come out. Now we go to the central. This biofactory is engaged in terraforming, spraying bacteria and all that. In general, a lot of people and they all want to eat. Generally a lot of people and they all want to eat. So we've got our destination, sell rations here, 2.8k. So take off and we'll head towards the right, I'm gonna go I'm not gonna go over the mountain I'm gonna go through the path so we don't use so much fuel going over you gonna lift lift Alright, so there's our destination. Controlling the camera while at the same time trying to control your flight is a little bit tricky. You gotta hold the L1 to rotate, otherwise you'll didn't do too badly there really. Oh, oh don't crash the crash! Oh What's that? That wasn't the <laughs> Yeah, that wasn't the easiest, the smoothest of landings. So let's go in. So again, so it's A, and then it's X to recharge. I think it should always recharge, I think. Okay, and then sell. There we go, item sold. The first priority cargo accepted. I understand you are a friend of Mr. Palm. Great, it's not an everywhere but the rations are in great demand and bring more of rations and we'll buy it for a great price right shoulder plus a well yes the colony is mine it's practically our neighbors the the cargo liner are walking 
for less than a week walking the report was something happened there report was something happened there okay I, I don't know what what am I supposed to do here I, I didn't really get a chance to read that Oh well, so let's open the thing. MTG batteries. It's been loaded. Not sure where we take them. We don't really have a destination, do we? Uh, no, 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 no. Close that up. So anyway, I missed what was going on there. So don't really know. And so, oh, we've got a map here. Available atoms. MTG tech batteries. Alright, so here we go. He wants MTG type batteries. So maybe we should fly over there. I, I, it's a shame I didn't get to read what was being said. Maybe there was something, but it doesn't matter. Right, so let's have a look. Now, I think the blue arrows must be the uh, must be the the tailwinds that you can get in the game, like the direction of the wind, which apparently can help you fly. save fuel basically well look at that there's one of those guys as they were talking about pick up passenger all right so little missions seem to come up on the screen as well Shall we have a look at what this pickup passenger mission is? Without trying to get caught in the geyser. about charge oh. is that where we've left that's where we just left isn't it Maybe there was a mission, there was a mission there, and we didn't see it. Well, 
Oh. This is a bit tricky to fly. Doing too good this time. I don't know if there's any, if there's yore on this, because I don't seem to have a, like, not a yore. Is it yore? Don't seem to be able to just, you know, really stuffing this one up badly. I'm going to run out of charge in a minute. If there's a way to just roll to the left... crashed uh, oh well I don't know what how I managed that we ran out of fuel I did really well to begin with but then I like completely lost how to uh... completely oh well, at least we get to see what happens when you when you crash This is all autopilot, I think. Oh, it's taking its time. There you go. It's the one thing I will say is this is too cluttered. I mean, the the writing and the, the you know it, it's all blended into the background it's not very clear and concise here so they could fit they could do with do with fixing this up It's just the basic, the basic ship. We'll, we'll try one more mission. Pick up a passenger. I'm not sure where that pick up a passenger, how far away it is, that's... I don't think you have to take off, I think you can take off anywhere, I think... 
just wasting your time going to the uh, uh, I wonder if there is a role I mean it'd be nice if there was just a role where you could not roll uh, strafe sorry strafe left and right Let's come in from an angle this time, instead of... See how much easier that was. Come on. Probably spoke too soon. That was so much easier. Wasn't it? Oh. Right shoulder A. Whoops. I still need... I didn't read what that said. Right, let's... Charge up. Go get this passenger. Hopefully, we won't run him over. Passenger on board. How do you get the passenger on board? Open the lock, for God's sake. D-pad down, I'm not going out. Alright, D-pad down. Alright. Oh, are you going to get on? Why are you not getting on? Why are you just walking around? Get on. <laughs> Is it because the uh it, oh, well Right. <laughs> you 
Is it because I had something in my cargo bay? The passenger is on board, Captain. You can close the hatch. Alright. What about the batteries that I just left behind? Okay. Bugger it. Let's go to Nord. We'll just have to leave the batteries there. again with the bad landing down. Come on. Look, we can stop thrusting now. We can come down. Come on. Tricky, 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 tricky. Oh, is it still? All right. So where do we have to deliver the passenger? Up the hill, apparently. for disembarkment. I don't know if there's a way of... speeding this up, but... Maybe you could land there. Maybe I didn't have to land at the other place. I just assumed it was a landing zone. Because there doesn't seem to be anywhere here. Okay, there we go. 
the, the camera controls are a bit tricky. Right, can I t just let him out? Thank you, Captain. And I have to go. Will you give me a lift? Right shoulder plus a... Fair enough, get in. Alright, so that that is... An introduction to Frontier Pilot Simulator. I'm not going to lie, I actually do quite enjoy the game. Uh, it's one of the first indie games I've actually played that I've actually quite enjoyed and and will like to play again. Uh, if you would like me to do some live streams on it, please let me know in the comments below. Like I said, the game is in early access, is being developed. Uh, and you can find it on the Steam webpage. I'll put a link into the description of the video down below for you to take you directly to it so you can have a look at the Steam page there. But if you would like to see some more of this in a live stream, uh, leave a comment in down below or let me know in the Facebook page and I'll be happy to do a live stream for you in the future. But anyway, that's it for me now. Thank you for watching. Uh, thank you to Razor for providing the game. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Until then, bye for now.